Hi, Jared from Visuals by Impulse, and I'm excited to show you our brand new social callouts editor. And this is exactly what you guys have been asking for. It gives you the full control from the icons, the text, the pattern, and the overall style. You can control and dial exactly what you want your social callouts to look like. You can add and remove the callouts and rearrange them to your liking, as well as controlling the alignments, the delay, and the cycle time. Now you'll be able to create the exact social callout that fits your stream. The very first thing you'll need to do is to go ahead and extract all on the zip you've downloaded. And then once you've done that, you'll notice that inside of your main directory, there's a social callouts folder. And in here, you'll launch the editor. And that's where we are over here. Now, the editor has the callouts, which you can rearrange by dragging. You can delete or you can edit them. It comes by default with a Twitch and a YouTube already. And you have the settings for alignment, the callout delay, and the cycle delay in seconds. If you need any additional help, go ahead and click on the support here and it will bring you to our circle where you can check in on any issues people have already had with this product or any other product. If you have any issues or questions, please leave them here on this circle and our support staff and the community will contact you and help you. So in order to create our very first social callout from scratch, let's click on this create callout button, which launches the create callout editor. So here you'll see we have icon, we have text, we have pattern and style. Now, right away, we can say we want this to be for Twitter. And I know the color I want is probably closer to the Twitter color um, or my own brand. So let's go with the Twitter color for now and I can copy this. So I can match that to the container color down here. We'll just go ahead and paste that. So those are matched. I can add a border now that I'm down here as well. Let's go with a white border and we can go ahead and change the title. So let's say like follow me on Twitter and we can have our username. Or you could also go ahead and delete the title and it just goes ahead and puts your username there. So now for the pattern, I can choose something um, that's a little bold. I wanna go with something a little bold here. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the dimension dark. And down here, you'll see you have a style you can select from. You can select squared. You can select semi-rounded or rounded center. And I'm going to go with that for now. And I'm actually going to change this. Uh, so now we can change the border color. We can turn off our border. I don't I don't think I want the border. And I can go ahead and hit create call out. And now I have my Twitter and I can cycle this wherever I want within the cycle. Now, by default, you'll see the callout delay and the cycle delay are set at five seconds. Now, the callout delay is the amount of seconds in between each one of these cycles. So this will play and then five seconds later, this will play and then five seconds later, this will play. And then the cycle delay is the amount of seconds in between the entire cycle. So let's go ahead and change this to one second here. And then we'll leave the cycle delay at five seconds just for preview purposes. And I want this to go first. So let's go ahead and download these settings and it's going to download this settings.json file. Now, once that's completed, I'm going to locate that in Finder. And I want to drag that to my social callouts main folder. So within the social callouts folder, you'll see there's this settings.json. You're going to want to overwrite that. So replace that file. All right. So now in order to get these into your OBS, go ahead and drag this HTML file right into your scene as a source. And now double click it and you're going to hit use custom frame rate and 800 by 200 for the width and the height and hit OK. And then you can drag this wherever you want in your scene. And you can see right away that the follow me on Twitter call out has come up with our username the way we designed it. And then after a second delay, it's going to play our Twitch call out. And that's the one by default. And then after that plays a second later, it's going to go ahead and we can make this bigger. After that plays, we're going to we'll see that it plays the YouTube. Now let's pop over to slobs and it works the same way. You can drag this right into the sources and you double click this and change this to 800 by 200 and use custom frame rate. And now you have this loaded up into slobs as well. And remember, if you want to make any changes right in this main directory, open up this editor. It'll open up in your browser and then you can rearrange these however you'd like. You can edit these so we can change this to uh, visuals by impulse, save the settings. We'll do the same thing here. We'll edit this. 
and save the settings. And then we can have YouTube come up and then let's say we don't want to have our Twitch one anymore since we're on Twitch. And then we can go ahead and change this delay to be around 60 seconds and then hit download settings. And we're going to overwrite those just like we did last time. Now, in order to see your updates, come into slobs or OBS and toggle off and on this eyeball on the layer. And then you'll see that our edits are completed. You see visuals by impulse as well as it leading with YouTube. And now this should go to our Twitter since we got rid of our Twitch. And there it is. Now let's go do the same thing over here. And in OBS, if you want to make sure the settings are being refreshed, go ahead and click this refresh browser when scene becomes active and it'll make sure to refresh this browser to the latest changes you've created. You can do the same thing in slobs. Refresh browser when scene becomes active. Well, that should cover everything for these new social callouts. And I just want to say all of your input matters. So please never hesitate. If you have any additional issues or ideas that you want to see come to life for these new social callouts, please let us know. We work hard every day to make sure we can make our products better. As always, never hesitate if you need any help and please enjoy these new social callouts.